we called again? Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Bet. Mm, it's about two rednecks. Uh, Alright. <laughs> or hillbillies, I guess is what they're called. I'll because do it. rednecks is too offensive. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about that. I was just like, oh, alright, well, we'll just. What? It's literally in the blurb. I forgot. <laughs> it's the thing, I read it and I forgot. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can do it too. Yeah. Anyway, if you would like to follow along, we are at the Magnet logo right when it becomes very visible on the screen. Wow. Yeah, I know, right? And we'll be starting in three, two, one, go. Oh my god, it's getting even bigger! Oh god. Just like something else that's big and red. My nose. What were you thinking of? I don't know. I just, I was trying to process anything of you just said. Oh my god, the other person's name is Billy. 138 minutes. Yo, that's a pretty big storage. Dude, they got that's, that trading card game. That's that's <laughs> the that's the battery. Oh, that's the oh, that's how much battery is left. Yeah. Oh, got stick. Stick, 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 stick. Becky, let me smash. Oh, oh, okay. Hi. You could still see that dude like fucking blinking and all that. Yeah. Yeah. People do. They're not blinking, blinking, but like when he laid down dead, he was like very hyper focused on the camera. Like, wait, like, uh, is it good? Is okay, good Pronou- can you pronounce that word? that's popped up. Appalachian. Exactly. Appalachian. <laughs> I just wanted to know how you said it. Well, there's also like the northern dialect of Appalachian and the southern dialect of Appalachian. Uh, Appalachian. You know, Appalachian. you got the Apple smartwatch. Not a sponsor. I hope they all die. I'm kind of feeling that too, yeah. <laughs> Every single one of them. Because he has a blunt? Leave him alone. Sean, that was a joint. That wasn't a blunt. I don't know. No, look, it's me and you. Yo? That is not <laughs> false. I didn't know who you were looking at. This is about to and it's like... Where did you come from? Because they're out of beer? Last chance, yeah, yes. Last chance to turn this movie off. What? <laughs> How long do you think that truck's been there? About as long as he has. My question is, why do a bunch of teenagers want to go into the mountains of West Virginia anyway? <clears throat> when do they want to be, like, at the city where they can get harder drugs and more alcohol that is overpriced for them? I mean, you look at it as well. None of them are dressed for the mountains, period. Well, yeah, they're not, like, going into the mountains. They're just hanging around the mountains. Why does everybody look dirty? That's how people in the mountains look. They just got cleaned and are off work. They've been working all day. You bet. All I wanted to do was go bash fishing. And we got these. And we got Boo! The White! What? <laughs> I don't know what's on there. just said Boo the White. Moose? Goat? Oh, he's dead. That is not what pickled eggs looks like. No, uh, they're like red, right? Yeah. Uh. It's like beets that they had in there. Alright, Mr. Guy. Don't go towards him. It's literally just like a bass fishing place with like stuff on the walls. All right. One of our guys from, you, from our locals works at a place exactly like this. Minus the deer heads. Go over there and talk to her, right, don't you? Nah. 
He's like, I am just a man sitting here eating eggs, looking at the hot pallet students. What do you want me to do? His hat says giver. You gonna fix the toilet? Girls can smell fear. I think that's just B.O. <laughs> that's not fear, that's failure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the knowledge that you messed up. Don't carry the scythe with you when you go to introduce yourself. That's the last thing you want to do. <coughs> Smile and laugh. This is going to go terribly. I can feel it already. Your rusty scythe. Oh, look at you picking out things that are happening. This is your opening image. This is your setup. Like, it's fake. You can even tell. What, that's, the scythe? Yeah, that shit ain't real. Uh, it's made to look creepy, but I mean, the yeah, it's kind of CGI, so it's probably like been fixed. <laughs> He's just like loud. Yo, what the hell is that? Kung Fu think, from the other movie? Which other movie? The one you showed me that we didn't have enough time for. There was a lot of those. But the name was translated to Kung Fu. Oh, House of One of the... Yeah. yeah. That was like the one that's like fights a lot. Yeah, exactly. But House of was also too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, as much as I would like to say I don't have another job I have to go to, I have work. <laughs> that is a lot of daffodils. Look at that, Daffodils. Every day now. Why are we drinking and driving? That's a bad message. You can have a cup. They used to drink in the 70s and drive home. You can have a beer. Besides, they're just on like a lot. They're not even driving. I'll admit I'm currently drinking a zero sugar non-sponsored beverage. That, no. Wow. <laughs> Terrible. Hey. Hey. He's like, the fuck you doing? Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, you gonna go fix her up, eh? Yeah. Do some fishing? What? Pain and suffering. jealous because he can't have a place of his own. I love how it's literally labeled beer. <coughs> well, yeah. Nobody paid to be in this movie. What do you think? They have a sponsor? I like to feel like they make good money making this movie. Anyway. What's this movie called again? Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. I'm trying to see how much it actually made. Hell yeah. What? Banjo is what? Uh, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil made $5,224,938 at the box office worldwide. What was the budget 
that we are still looking at. Uh, it grossed 223838 in the U.S., yet somehow the other $5 million was made outside of the country. Yeah. Wow. What was the budget? Four points. Nope. Produced with a budget of 4.6 billion won. <laughs> it's about 5 million USD. <laughs> so it basically did not do well. No. I'm pretty sure this is like a cult movie, though. It didn't make back its 5 million production budget. Yeah, uh, no. but the problem is uh, it did? Or is it, it did not? It did not. Yeah. Uh, the because next... remember, his production is like five million, and then uh, you had to tack on like another what was it, half or so for like uh, advertising hmm. and all that. I mean, it got good reviews. It's, uh, what is it? IMDb seven point five, Rotten Tomatoes eighty five percent. I don't know if you had seen it. They were going through all the newspaper clippings of, like, the people that were murdered. Yeah. And, of course, you know, in typical comedy movie fashion, the last newspaper clipping that they had was a deal at Chubby's Chili Dog Emporium Museum something. Mm-hmm. Traps. Yo. Uh, yeah, so budget $5 million, box office 5.2 to 5.5. Yeah. Excuse me. Wow, they're chucking empty cans at your head? Yeah, uh, dumb. Let me just light this with a stick from the fire. Oh, okay, fuck, it was already on fire. He's smoking, but is an asthmatic. What? He's smoking weed, though, right? I guess. But he just he just uses his inhaler. Yeah, Damn. that's why. That's how he can smoke so good. But that's stupid. Just don't smoke. <clears throat> so apparently, there was a South Korean remake titled "Handsome Guys" that was released in South Korea on June twenty sixth, twenty twenty four. Yo. So it was remade, and they were thinking about doing a sequel called Tucker and Dale Go to Yale, <laughs> and describing it as Goodwill Hunting meets Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah. I'm is that gonna... Stephen King? Is it? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. It's not, but it kind of looks like Stephen King. Oh, okay. And guys like Stephen King, too. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah. Oh, oh here she comes. Oh, she's gone. I, I just need to show you the uh, the poster for the movie Handsome Guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that definitely isn't telling of anything. <laughs> you would think with, well, five people, because the one died at the start. With five people running in five different directions, there's no shock he catches all of them. Now he has a different weapon. This is the third one. <coughs> oh, there were it's two story. people. You mean they went home? They ran. Our bodies are buried beneath us. Yeah, that's where soil comes from. Yeah. Hey, oh, there's a lake. Why was he sniffing the toilet paper? Yeah, we gotta take a whiff though. Big sniffer. Okay. I wrote it down to remind me to put the handsome guys uh, <laughs> a poster in the videos. Perfect. Just to show everybody what it looked like. <laughs> oh my God! Pass the ribbon. There is product placement in this movie. I can't believe it. Do you think that ninety percent of their budget had to go to that? Well, it wouldn't be their budget. That would be money that they took to put it into the movie to make the movie. Mm. <laughs> You know, it's looking for myself. Not when it comes to the last pops. Oh. Who do you think is going to answer you? There was a swingy axe there. 
My axe is my buddy. I let that Dixie wave. The axe is his accountability buddy. <laughs> No. That was not. I'm just reminded of the uh, red flag, green flag guy. What? You were seeing, like... So, there's, like, a bunch of shorts that people do where it's like, oh, I, I'm doing a thing, like, to my boyfriend or I'm doing a thing to my girlfriend to see how they react. And... It's usually like silly things like, will you give me an orange? Will you kill this orange for me? Or they just say something silly. <clears throat> just to see uh, like what they like if they get angry or not, to see if it's like a red flag person or a green flag uh, green flag person. I have never once <clears throat> heard of any of what you're talking about. Yeah, it's a bunch of like some like girl subculture is a lot of it. But anyway, there's another guy who has like red flag green. So he has this giant like flags that he has. He has like a giant green flag if they do something good and a giant red flag if they're like, you know, being obnoxious and doing things that they shouldn't do, like scaring somebody. Yeah. And that green flag is like, oh, you're just a cutie patootie. Oh, you're oh. Really roasted. You go, it's like, you're so nice, you go to the ATM and say thank you and you get your money. Can't believe it. Yeah. Why are they nude? Because they're cost centers. That's what they do. There's like he's leeches like, and things. Slowly get away. Oh no, he's getting closer. Never mind. Stop <laughs> they're going to do the nice thing. Of, oh no, they're turning around. See, look, they're turning around. Look at that. Well, that's good. At least they're gentlemen. Another stuck. Yeah, that's enough. We don't need to do any more. This is, you know, this is... <laughs> His friend's like, I can't, I can't look at this. This is family-friendly content. Oh, I thought she was going to, like, fucking jump or whatever. She goes smash. Hi, Lion! <laughs> I was about to do that. <laughs> Start running. Oh no! How <laughs> the hell are you running away from us? We got your buddy! We got your friend! Well, now we're throwing shit. Paranoid and they're overreacting. You know what, true. Oh, Don't throw that, that's not nice. Okay, goodbye. <clears throat> she's like, oh my god, what the hell happened? Oh, uh, she's in the same house as all the newspaper clippings of people dead. <laughs> oh, okay, dog missing eye. It's a strange dog. Where am I doing here? Nine of them in total? Um, 
I'm trying to remember, but I know there was like those, there was like two up front, then the three, and then I think some more in the back. I remembered like seven. They already ate her, what difference does it make? Yo. We did see it. You fell. Hmm. You're like, oh. Hey guys. Better come look at he's still running. Yeah, right? He's fucking out of there. <laughs> he was like almost out of the scene, and then he's back, and he was running slightly to the right. Oh, yeah? Then why don't you go in there and talk to them? Alright. Maybe you're a little. Okay. It's just a cabin in the woods. Oh, that's nice. But he got bacon and eggs and some flowers. Say anything! You're being awkward! <laughs> Hate eggs and bacon. Tucker and I. There you go, buddy. You get it. Bro, throw your friend under the bus. I have covered my eyes. This is a tucker. <laughs> you did it right. Injuries are magically heat. Well, I just got a bump on the head. I think that's about it. Oh, there was blood on the cloth. That's why I got confused. Yes. They only made it. They didn't even make this money back. I don't care that much. Does your, hole, does your shirt have a hole in it? No, but my shirt has a bleach stain on it. There you go. I don't know how they got the random bleach stain right there, but... You're going to use a bleach? I use bleach for other clothes, but it goes into the one bleach section, so I don't know where it came from. Uh, maybe there was some like some drip off after one of the loads. Yeah, there's probably drips coming from somewhere, but I don't know. Oh, see, now, again, they're going to hear the chainsaw and think, oh, God, she's dead, and she's just having a nice, quaint breakfast in there. He's just doing some, he's working the land, cutting down some firewood and some trees. But they don't know that. They hear chainsaw go, <coughs> oh, no, scary. I'm like, go! Wouldn't you move, like, I don't know, the old, uh, Arr. all the crap over there first before cutting down trees? No. They don't think that far ahead in this movie. Oh, there's a hornet's nest in there. Not the bees! <laughs> you should have watched out for bees. <laughs> 
<laughs> you don't see. Oh well, you can't see the bees. I guess. Don't run towards them. I don't think he's really paying that much attention. Like, drop the chainsaw, run like hell. He's using the chainsaw to try to get him away. Bro, get away from the dude. Run in a different direction. <gasps> oh, no. He wasn't looking to where, where he was going. Oh, that's so bad, though. We did hope that they all died. AOB? Is it gonna sting it? Yeah, on the it's nose? gonna sting him on the nose. Oh, wait, no. I think okay. he's like realizing, oh no, I died for a super reason. Yo. Well, I hope they don't find him. <laughs> What the hell board game is that? movie. Yeah? They're like, you know what? Budding romance scene between the two of you. Let's have that. Oh, bet. Oh. Yeah, he used to say, oh, bet. I bet. Potentially. I have this stupid dream. Look at us. We're, we're making a cabin. Right? That was our dream. Oh, did she say she was a communications major? No, she said psychology. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, we like that thing like, very much. Mm -hmm. version of Get Her Done that they probably didn't have the funds for. Probably. in the face. Oh.
I mean, they're all pretty visible. Right. Oh. Real quick. They're playing a board game! Yeah. <laughs> They're just gonna watch him write that note. Yeah. We have your friend. Probably. We got your friend. We got your friend. That's pretty good handwriting, though, all things considered. <clears throat> oh, look, a woodchipper. Ah, oh, great. Oh, and they're digging a hole to put a body in. Yeah. Ha. Oh, Jesus. She's like, oh, but. I grew up on a farm. He's just like, that is the sexiest goddamn thing I've seen since I lost connection to the internet pornography. You know that's what he's thinking. Sure. Just wasn't ready for that. <laughs> Are you ever ready for the things that are coming out of my face? Nope. Never have been, never will be. I feel like someone's gonna get stuck in there. Well, it might just be him. But he's the hero of the movie. That is an oddly sharpened stick. Yeah, they got a sharp they had an axe though. He got himself like a little spear. No, I'm gonna just hang her here, yeah. No! Oh, that's not good. Hey, look, it's your friends! Oh, and she's unconscious, so she didn't see any of this. Oh, don't. You're gonna go through the wood chipper now. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Nasty. He's already dead! Yeah, I mean, he made it hit. At least he went ahead first. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I was trying to pull him out, but, you know, at least he went ahead first. Or I guess maybe hand first. I guess he would probably do that first. And she's gone again. Oh, 
trying to get away. They don't know what we don't know. They won't kill us. It's a good point. Yeah. Is he sucking on somebody else's blood? No, I think he wants... The, the assumption is he washed his hand, but I can see how that looks weird. Yeah. Put him to the polygraph. <laughs> that doesn't work. How does that not work? Because it's easy to fake and easy to get false positives. Man, I don't know. So you want to know how to fake a polygraph, kids? No. This is what you do. No, don't do that. When you're telling no, the no, truth. no, 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 no. <clears throat> What? Don't teach very, people how to... No! It's very easy. No! Don't teach people how to fake a polygraph. What's the matter with you? <laughs> when you tell the truth, you clench your butthole. Oh my god. Because that raises your heart rate a little bit, and then when you lie, you unclench. I have developed multiple, multiple brain aneurysms in a span of 15 seconds of hearing you that's literally, that's literally the thing. They did it on Mythbusters. You can also do it if you have like a nail or something in your foot too, like or like a pen, where you give yourself a little bit of pain when you're telling a lie and you let off of it when you're telling the truth. But clenching your butt is a lot easier. You just clench. Well, I guess I say clench your butt You just kind of clench yourself. And that, like, you know, muscle spasm, or that muscle uh, contraction basically makes it so that you give uh, a false negative, I guess is what it would be. I'm going to specify for this that from the time frame of the scene where they're in the cabin to about four minutes from now, I have no association to you. The words that you have said are yours and yours alone. Yeah. I am not teaching people to clench their assholes and fake a polygraph. I mean, you shouldn't take a polygraph test because it's easily to fake. It's easy to fake. And it's easy to get false negatives. It's basically it's not it's not effective at telling what's a lie and what's not a lie. One day we're all going to die. Hopefully. Period. <laughs> That's it. One day the sun's gonna crash into the earth. What are they running from? They're running, I think, to get help. Oh. Yo? To be honest, I really wasn't paying that much attention. I was just talking to you about clutching your holes. Stupid! They went to the police. Oh, does he think, think the cop is a killer? I think he thinks the cop is there. Uh... Here comes the cop car. Those are two separate legs. Yeah. Johnny's like horrified. I'm just over here giggling like a fucking psychopath. I hate horror movies. <laughs> horror games, horror movies, anything that's horror. Oh, I got Resident Evil 7. Cool. <laughs> it will forever remain unplayed in my presence. This, this isn't what it looks like, officer. <laughs> like, just put your hands up and just say, all right, let's see what it looks like.
They're shitless. The, the way that they're saying this does not help their case. You must think that I'm some kind of moron. Like storyline, man. Oh, no. No, sir. Not a moron. Uh, open minded. Let me get this straight. I have trouble understanding something. You say you were just wounded when this kid. No. If, 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 uh, if I had a doctor, uh, By accident. accident. There you go. <laughs> He needs to get all the information. Leave him be. No, 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 no. Oh, and he's dead. Come on. Oh, <clears throat> this has been a series of unfortunate events. Oh, it's in the brain. <laughs> he's not getting out of this. I hope he has his tetanus shot. Did he say derp, derp, herp, and derp? I think, I think it was something more along the lines of he was trying to say man down, but the damage to his brain. Well, he got pretty far. People got him shot through the brain, and they survived. They shouldn't have made it that far, period. <laughs> yeah, that's a little unrealistic. He's going to get the gun. It's gonna backfire. He's gonna shoot himself. He did that all by himself. You're gonna run out of bullets, bro. Yeah. Please don't shoot the girl in here. Leave her be. She didn't do any of this. Fish. 
Where's what? His dog. Oh, no. Please, no. Oh! They're gonna shoot a nail gun at him? Yeah, it's also not how nail guns work. No. <laughs> it's good very close up, but not very good at long range. Don't get shot. Don't let them shoot me either. Don't shoot. You shoot them. Now there's four of them. Well, yeah, there was three, and the one guy died, and the blue guy ran off into the forest was there. Oh, the car's gonna blow up. No, no. <laughs> I got a bush. This is not going to go well. What are the freaks? Freaky college students! Meanwhile, this poor girl <laughs> is just unconscious in that house. Yeah, she's having a nap. More than that, she got hit with a shovel. Okay, fine. She's a little unconscious. I'm getting really mad. How do the kids not hear this happening? I think it's supposed to be the thing where you're like distracted because you're panicky. Now they have him. Jesus. <laughs> He's like, oh no, don't leave me behind, I got a room too. Wow. What are they gonna do? Head him off? Oh, he fell down. Oh no, he got so dirty. Man's just trying to live his life. He's trying to hide. I saw this in a, pre in a Predator movie once. <laughs> right in heels. as a bait. Oh. Because they have it, their other friend. Cool. Oh. Oh, God. He's swanging. What the hell is wrong with you kids? What is the matter with us? Pure evil. He's sniffing. You know, sniffer. No! 
Good lord! Uh, oh, she came to. <laughs> We're not having the greatest high time out here. I don't like that they hit him. He didn't do anything wrong. Oh, they didn't hit him. They cut off a finger, I think. I don't like that they did that. That's not nice. Yeah, well, they think they're kind of crazy redneck killers. Why are you all afraid? Your friends just kept jumping in and killing them, Sam. She was a psych, <laughs> a psych major. Sleeves. Hmm. I have bare arms. I mean, she really doesn't have sleeves either. She has short sleeves. No, they're never his clothes. Uh, your friends. Do some of your friends take medication? <laughs> Do your friends take medication? Go nuts! Please do not get hurt. This is the one person I'm rooting for. <laughs> I hope the other guy's not dead, too. Oh, my lord. No, that's the cop and the other friend. Yeah. She still has not learned how to button her pants, though. Yeah. That's okay. I appreciate it. Who's that? Oh, I think it's like a message that they threw and then they ran oh. away. Uh oh. He's gonna be the finger. Please don't be the dog. Oh, there's two fingers in a note. His what fingers? Bowling, Bowling fingers. fingers. Oh, oh. How will he bowl? Scythe staring at us on the road. <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> oh. Hey, well, you didn't hurt. 
hurt anybody. It was all them. Yeah, it was murder by proxy. Not even proxy. They did it to themselves. Yeah. It's like you like ran at somebody and they like fell into a hole and then you fell into the hole and died and then you tripped into a wood chipper because you're trying to push a guy because you got there there were bees. Maybe then you could have just stopped running. I mean, there's a lot that this movie could have done and a lot this movie should have done and it didn't do any of that. Well, He's got just, his hat. That's just a classic misunderstanding of events. That's your, uh, what is it, your, uh, your irony, uh-huh. what it is, where uh, they think they're like psycho killers, but they're actually just good people, and they just misjudged them. Well, they were trying to be, and trouble ensues. Yeah. <clears throat> That's a good, is that a good hook? Is this a little surprising that it cost them five million, considering that, I mean, most horror movies are fairly cheap. But, uh... Oh! That was CGI. Mm. <laughs> Maybe it was a good idea that we didn't do uh, Thanksgiving. Yeah! I mean, this is, like, probably, like, slightly more realistic, whereas Thanksgiving is, like... Humans do not have that much blood in them. I, I will say, though, I saw Thanksgiving in uh, the theater. Uh-huh. I was the only one giggling and laughing. I was not even giggling. I was laughing hysterically at, like, the death scenes. Because to me, all, like, the blood and gore and guts is just, like, entertaining, like, special effects. Because I know they're not real. So, and other people were like, oh, no, blood. And I'm like, oh, cool, special effects. This is that. I was like... That's a good effect. That's a cool effect. I like that effect. That was bad CGI, but I get what they're going for. Here's the thing. Even though I know that, oh yeah, you still, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you still run it. You, I, you have. Even though you uh, consciously know that, you still kind of run it through uh, the part where you're like, "Oh, I'm panicky" uh, type deal, where you are kind of reacting to the visuals. Whereas, I don't have that. I've essentially, I guess, gotten rid of that over time, where I'm just like, oh, this is like a cool special effect. Yeah. I'm like, I know that person's an actor. I know they're completely fine. And that nothing bad is happening to anybody. Besides me and the stunt doubles. Yeah, I just don't like horror movies enough to divulge into that further. I mean, it's fine. I used to not like horror movies. They didn't do anything. Also, uh, side note, that's not the uh, ha- what happened with the actual Stockholm Syndrome. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what actually happened with the Stockholm Syndrome, it's not falling in love with your kidnappers. It was that the government, I think it was like a, a bank robbery or something like that, and like the people were there, they're like with their, like the, like the people who were like, trying to rob the bank, like took it over whatever place it was. I think it was in, I guess, Stock- in Stockholm. And they were going to go in and, like, murder all the people who were robbing the bank. And people were all like, no! Don't murder... They didn't kill anybody. Don't murder them. And people were like, oh, they didn't want them to kill the people who were robbing the bank. Uh, Therefore, they must have a psychological break. And that's something that we have to explain as to why they didn't want the government to rush into the bank to kill a bunch of people who didn't hurt the other people. That's essentially what it like, boils down to. They're trying to explain uh, why they didn't want the government to murder people. Did, <laughs> you like, take, did you take a breath during that? 
Yeah. That was 60 seconds of just gas. <laughs> yeah. What was that? Stockholm Syndrome. Uh-huh. Yeah. And now everybody just sit down. Let me get the tea. Yeah, I love how there's a psychologist in the middle of this. Like, hey, we're just yeah, talking right? about who? So, yeah, that's another thing. A horror movie. Talk about your feelings. Okay, yeah. So it was a convict on parole. He took four employees, three women and one man, uh, of a largest bank in Stockholm, Sweden. He took them hostage uh, during a failed bank robbery. Negotiated the release uh, a prison of his friend, uh, Clark uh, Olsson, to assist him. And the house is kept for six days, and when in one of the bank vaults, when they released, none of them would testify against either capture in court. Instead, they began raising money for their defense. So that's what it was. And people were like, "Oh, well, you did this because you had an emotional attachment to him and bonded over it." But it's like, no, they just didn't think that they were that bad of a guy. They just didn't want you to like put him to death for freaking out and uh, trying to rob a bank for money. <laughs> Why are they showing the backstory of like the the scary story thing? Rude. I think it's the backstory for like the one guy, where somebody like killed his dad and his mom fall back and got away. That's why, he, and that's why he's messed up. Wow. Rude. Okay, cool. A W. That's a horrible bedtime story. Yeah. Nah. He's like, oh, fuck. Okay. All right. Now to actually answer my question. Oh, great. Now these two again. Oh, what's worse is he threw the gasoline around everywhere. Oh, no. It has been a while. It hasn't been that long. It's been like 20 minutes. They got there at like there was in the daytime. It's been like hours at this point. No, they got there in the middle of the night. These the first two, those two, that guy. They came back in the middle of the night. I thought. No, he's been. Time in movies are always fucked up. They poured the gas. She tried to tell them no. <laughs> we went into this tangent of Stockholm syndrome. Yeah. And then the two dudes showed up. Well, to it was be all fair, I was paying attention for <laughs> since I went into the the, uh, the Stockholm syndrome side. Oh, I know. Side effect. Wow, racist. No. They didn't say anything. One gave a backstory and one talked about how he doesn't want to hurt the fish. Fish are friends, not food. Oh! And that's what's been happening this entire time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're like, oh no, we're angry at you for what we did. She's dead. I mean, it's just a weed 
Oh. Right here. Yeah, get him. Are you okay, Dale? Oh no! Don't do the lamp. Oh, he, now he, he's on. He's on fire now. No, 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 that's alcohol. <laughs> that was moonshine. <laughs> She's like, oh god. Stop drop and roll, you idiot. Stop getting the house on fire. She's gone too now. All right, here we go. Don't light the cigarette. Oh, look. Oh, no, it's going toward... The gas is going towards all the gas, and she's smoking next to the gas. This she has knows. been a series of unfortunate events. Oh. Yo, there's some skull in there. Okay, now that was just pure, uh, that was pure oh. spite. He kicked her. He didn't mean to. Well, it's okay. They're just some stunt doubles. Where's the dog in all of this? The dog ran off into the woods. Ain't no fucking way. Oh, we're all virtual. Break through. Oh, he's uh, he's you, alive. You better have your eardrums be ruptured, my dude. Nope, there's no helping him anymore. He's gone. Oh, he's uh. Be careful, this is the only thing I got left. Oh, thank God. Okay, they got away. Oh, d no, focus on, focus on the road. Oh, come on. Now I'm just yes, getting yeah. angry. This has been a series of, <laughs> this has been a parade of, uh, of errors. <laughs> That's an understatement. <laughs> oh, no, please. Oh, the dog is alive! Yeah. Hey, hey. Oh no, the stick came through the door. Please tell me the other two were fine. Oh, they got out. Okay. Well, they're missing. Well, they're missing. Yeah, but you know, they're not dead in the car. At there's least. no, there's no blood. Oh. Uh oh. Uh, did you get a? Did you get a little scabby scab? No. He's fine. Dude. Did you get stabbed? <laughs> Hell yeah! It's not my fault. I just didn't want the girl to think we were creeping on her. It's worth. Like, is he gonna get murdered, or is he already been murdered? Like, what's happening here? They're having a heart to heart. No, I'm trying to figure out like below. <coughs> oh, I'm sure he's fine. Excuse <coughs> me. The girl is being held hostage. Do this later. You better than you think you are. I wasn't. I was trying to catch fish and beat you. His eyes. But you beat me at fishing. He beat him at fishing. Yeah, that that's was, what I was a little slurious about about him catching more fish. Yeah. He doesn't even like fishing that much. He just did it because it was hanging out with his friend. Yeah. Kind of like you watching horror movies with me. He just shakes his head like you. Yep. Yep. I don't like him. This is my fish. <coughs> fish. Yeah. This is my fish. 
<laughs> What's my fish for John? What? I don't know. I'm trying to think if I have a fish for you. Let's catch the fish with Granddad. <laughs> my Granddad? I'm not that. I'm not that much older than you. No, Two no, years. no. Um, I'll have to link it to you later. One of the shows my wife and I watch is. Uh, they don't do it as much anymore, but they had like a couple of segments where they made a game called Catch the Fish with Granddad, and it's just they like wiggle an oven mitt in front of somebody, and it's like you gotta catch it. Oh. Yeah. Is this uh, Cox and Crindor? No, Good Mythical Morning. Right, that's the other show you watch a lot. Okay. Yeah. I don't really know that much about Good Mythical Morning, except about food and stuff. I think that's the only. I know they do other things besides food, but that's pretty much the only thing I really like know of them. Yeah, it's a lot of food. Well, food's easy. One day, John, will be famous enough, we'll be able to do food and weird things at the game grumps. I already eat food. Yeah, but you can eat food uh, humorously. Uh huh. And on camera. Oh no. Wow, look at this line. There's one whole tree there. Where did this building come from? How did the dog know she was here? Well, it's a dog. You can smell those things. Big heel lumber. Logs, lumber, millwork. I was expecting John to ask me why I said it was only one tree. Because it was an ass thing. What's the matter with you? No. I didn't think about that. Do you know about the quake and ass thing for us? No. I'm going to let you answer that. You know the answer. Yeah, I was asking if you did. Nope. That was the answer. Uh, no idea. Oh, okay. That Quake and Aspen are like one organism, so what we, we used to uh, think were like large forests of like multiple trees is actually like one super organism because uh, all the root systems are connected to like one major tree. Mm. And that's how uh, quick and aspen is like work. A lot of trees, or at least quick and aspen trees. So there's like one of them yeah. that had that's like really really big. That's like the biggest organism on earth because it's like an entire forest, but it's all like they're all clones of the same tree. Ah. Yep. Interesting. Quick and aspen. I got distracted because I was looking in our chat group and somebody has purchased much cardboard. Okay, that can be anything. What kind of cardboard is it? Is it a, is it a piece one? Is it a a, o, a Ogio? It is. A Ogio? Two cases of Ogio. Oh, uh, the uh, what is it? The gold or the, the shining series or whatever it's called? The Megatons, yeah. 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 Oh! He's gonna get hurt. Yeah. Yeah. How can you see in that water now, by the way, sir? Uh, for a matter of film convenience. Yeah. He took off the hat and put on his hat. Right? Oh, no. This is, he's gonna be behind him. Nope, turn that off. Turn that back off. Oh, he turned it on. Oh god. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be sold. Oh no. I'm gonna be split in half. And not by a penis. It's not the fun split in half. It's the bad kind! Oh god! Okay, so maybe we have more than one fish. <laughs> there are, in fact, many fish. <laughs> Just because you have a conversation with a lamppost. Well, that's one thing versus another. Oh, now he's got the stick. Lady, you better... That's not a stick, that's a pipe! Figure out how to get out of there. 
Oh, and down he goes. How is he getting up? I don't know. It's movie logic. Come on, Tim or Eric, whichever one you are. Tim or Eric? I don't remember their name. You're not watching it's Tucker and Dale. Oh, that was it. Tim and or Eric. Are we watching the awesome show? Yeah, great job. Are we watching Tom go go goes to the mayor? Oh fuck. Oh no, please don't hurt her. Oh thank god. Yo, that dude's like a wizard. Who, Dale? Yeah. Lightsaber battle. Except with a metal pipe and a chainsaw. I mean, yeah, it's kind of epic. You could have. Oh, well, he doesn't want to kill him. Yeah, he doesn't really want to kill him. He's supposed to help her. Yeah. Why are you going upstairs? It's a bad place to be. The place is made of wood, a lot of fire. I mean, the problem is you left him with the chainsaw. You had one! Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> T. No. Nineteen ninety though. Yeah, I'm missing that college age. At least when this movie came out. Nothing happens. Oh, oh. News, news, and ambulances. We see comedy horror. It's funny. <laughs> That's suicide deranged killer. Yeah. They haven't found his body! He's wearing a clean shirt! I'm feeling high on prescription medication. Yeah. That's the morphine. Bob's bill. Found my fingers. Check it out. Oh. Yeah, I see it. I remember that one looking that way. <laughs> it's a little funny, eh? 
hee hee ha ha. He can't have that. No! No, 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 no. Uh, why'd you let him have that? Because they're hillbill. He just said he's on medication. Yeah, pain medication. When he makes alcohol and pain medicine, it makes it work better. Don't, don't do that, kids. Don't do it. I was making a joke. <laughs> you won't wake up ever. You won't get to wear a Bob's and Bill shirt. But they probably also don't have him on that high of pain medication either. I mean, for this particular situation, they don't have him on any. No, they like can be in this. Yeah. Well, yeah. In real life, you mean. In real life, yeah. But in the movie. In real life, he's having a nice apple juice. Yeah. Sadly, the Paps Blue Road money was not enough to save Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Oh, they're on a bowling team? Yeah, they said that's his bowling fingers. Well, yeah, I didn't know they were literal. What? I don't know. Who says that's his bowling fingers? But it didn't imply that he bowls. That could just be a thing. That could just be a term. Shut up. That's not, that is not a term. That man did not have a lot of teeth in there. Oh, he's calling her Allie. Well, that's so sweet that you have this. <laughs> Swear every day, forever, never take it off, even when you shower. I had a lot of fun. It's here for all the people dying, and you know, you, uh, your friends, and the scaries. Me, but, uh, no, meet you and. You walking around wearing my pants, showing, you know, your, your nether region's pretty good. That, I like that pretty well. That's pretty nice. Her pants were showing off her pelvis. <clears throat> Yo! He got that, he got that tongue. Whatever. Whatever. No, don't, no! Hooray! <clears throat> well, I know that John has to leave, but before you do, what did you think about the movie? I still don't like horror movies. <laughs> by any stretch. So this will be the Halloween episode, and there will be no more. <laughs> Unless he does them on his own. <laughs> I will rate it, I'm going to have nightmares. Out of ten. But there was a cool girl there, too! And a dumb blonde that died! And they all died like we wanted! No, the, the three people made it out. They didn't die. We didn't want Tucker and Dale to die. We wanted all the other people to die. Yeah, well... And they died! This is very... Painfully! Bad. This is very damning to put in the video. <laughs> you should put, like, an asterisk in there. That like, was the point, though. You have to make the characters... You, introduce, you have to introduce, like... Make your characters that you want to die, the audience be against them from the beginning. Or you can introduce your, um, the other side first. Like, uh, in House of a Thousand Corpses, which you probably won't do, but... Nope. Uh, because it's a horror movie. You can do it. <clears throat> yeah. But in House of a Thousand Corpses, they introduce you to the bad guys first. The bad guys first. So that you're already endeared to them, and then they meet, give you your quote unquote, like, uh, the victims who are kind of a douche to them. So that makes you side immediately with the, with the other side, more than them. Uh huh. Yeah. You don't feel as bad as when they all die. And plus, that guy was half, half hillbilly. Half? Yeah. He's a half hillbilly too. 
Wonderful. Well, that's going to be it for me. You can finish the credits if you so desire. Yeah, I'll write out the credits and then I'll say, tell John he's a noob. Yep. Unfortunately, I must go to work as I am an adult, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, yep, 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 yep. I have grown up responsibilities. Don't worry, John, one day we'll make enough money that this will be your job. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> so I won't watch the horror movies, though. Oh, are you the funny ones? Nope. <laughs> what about Alien? You didn't give me an Alien. Tell you what, we'll watch, uh, what is it, Alien Covenant, and you can let us watch me be a ball of rage the entire time. <laughs> Alien Covenant is a series of unfortunate bad decisions. See you later, my dude. Well, John's gone. What are we doing here? We got uh, we got Cody Clipper, Tom Bird. Wonder if John's gonna lock my door. Oh, there he goes. He's out the window. Nick Bauer. Perry Bauer! The Bowers! The Bowers did this! I don't know why I've been doing a redneck voice the entire time. I mean, I guess I do. Patty Kaiser and Andrew Kaiser were the fiddle and the banjo player. Hmm. Interesting. Very fun. Very fun. Very fun indeed. Finale edit works. Oh my god, the post office! All flying facilities by the post office. Yeah! Woo! USPS giving us made here. Asia Silverberg, Gerald Feather, Brian Burrett, Zeef Ben Yosef, Lionel Lim, Justin Reamer. Look! It's Rosie Wong! <laughs> Wong. Rob Eager, Chris Davies, Chris Eastwood, Alex Taylor. What do we got here? We got a Paul Sharp. Is he Sharp? Or is he Dowell? <laughs> Glenn Noseworthy. He has a worthy nose. Cam Wagner. Oh, he was the Foley artist. All right, bet. Technicolor Creative Solutions. Technicolor is like literally part of everything, it seems. And I don't even know what Technicolor is. It's like a film, I guess, but I'm like, why? Why, why are you in everything? This is just technology. I dug up my grave and walked away. Well, at least you walked away from it, I guess. Gervais LLP. Gotta get that Wigan. Wigan LLP. <clears throat> Thank you to the city of Calgary, the town of Cocharen, city of Edmond, Jeff Britton, Dennis Fitzgerald, Kelly, got Keith, Marla, Patty Tucker, and Arlen Yakima, Yakima Sack, I guess. I don't know. Oh my god, this is filmed in Canada. In Alberta, Canada. Oh god. Oh god, it's Canadian. I'm gonna make John watch things. You know? Hey John, let's watch things. It's, it's funny. <laughs> you just sit there and be confused the entire thing. Maybe I can do a horror movie or a punishment. So, all right, we're going to watch either A, Things, or B, Pink Flamingos. Well, that was the entire movie of Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. I hope you have all enjoyed this rousing episode of Chris and John doing a riff track commentary and John watching the movie for the first time because he does watch movies. This has been Chris. John is long gone at this point. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell John he's a noob. Peace. Hey, peace.